What's going on everyone? Uh, today we're just going to do a little overview of Rocky TV's Jeep who got stopped for um, being illegal, big tires and stuff. You guys know the deal. But I'm just going to do a little overview of what he did to get it to pass. And um, it's kind of funny. So I'll post a picture of what it looks like before, like what it looks like when it looks nice and like, you know, big like 40s and stuff. And then what it looks like now. But here's a video of me walking around it, showing you um, exactly what he did to get this thing to pass. All right, so starting from the back, he had these custom mud flaps, which are floor mats. Uh, we, he put these on here, obviously, because there is issues with the tires being too big, blah, 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 blah. Um, he got these little like spoiler extensions. This is like a chin spoiler for a car from AutoZone. He put this on, um, uh, bolted it into the, like self tapped all of this stuff into the fenders, which is super funny. Um, this thing's usually on 40s. Let's have a Dana 60 in the back and a fully built uh, 44 in the front. <laughs> I can't even like say this without laughing. He put these guys on here. Damn, this thing's actually on there. He put these on here, made a custom front bumper so that it covers, um, this was one of the repair things. It said that it needed to touch the fender. I, I kind of don't know why, because mine doesn't. But um, yes, you can see all the hard work he put into this thing just to get it to pass emissions. Super uh, durable fenders here. And then we have the mud flaps again. Oh, what was that? Yeah, uh, on this side it looks even better. So we didn't even bother to cut this spot out. Just kind of put it up there. Another floor mat mud flap with two self-tapping screws. This thing looks pretty good, I would say. Looks kind of like uh, one of those Arctic trucks with how wide the body is now. <laughs> Yeah, so Josh has been using the word custom a lot. It's definitely custom. I don't know how custom this would be if you were to take it to a shop and ask them for this, but <laughs> this passed and we're headed to the DMV now to get, <laughs> to get it written off. Um, but yeah, so um, here's a picture right here of what the Jeep looked like before. This is his baby right here. And then this is it now. He actually said he likes the look of this, so he might keep it like this. It's kind of cool. It's, it's just, it's different. We'll say that. But uh, I hope you guys are having a great day. This is just a short little video of us running around this Jeep. Um, it's hilarious. Uh, we took the doors off of mine over here today. It's 70 something degrees in Maryland and we're having a great day in the spring. So we're headed to a detail shop that I uh, am working with soon. And then uh, gonna get some supplies for this guy, something for this, and hopefully get this finished so he can get back to 40s and wheeling in the summer. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's like I said, it's gonna be a short little video like that. Um, it's kind of funny. It's so funny seeing like <laughs> 4.3 harnesses sitting in a Jeep looking like this. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, Maryland's very strict on rules about having tires stick out, bumper height, lift kits, et cetera, all of that stuff. Um, crossing my fingers, I have never been pulled over for that. I have in the old Cherokee that you guys have seen, but not this. So this would suck if I have to do this. Um, I'd probably just sell the Jeep because I'm not making my Jeep look like that. <laughs> but, uh, all right, guys, well, we'll see you later. Um, if you haven't yet, I know I haven't posted in a long time, but uh, like, subscribe, comment. Tell us what you think of this insane custom build that Josh has here. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you later.